1619, slavery comes to North America. The first Africans to reach the colonies that England was struggling to establish were a group of some 20 enslaved people who arrived at Point Comfort, Virginia, near Jamestown, in August 1619, brought by British privateers who had seized them from a captured Portuguese slave ship. 1793, Rise of the Cotton Industry In 1793, Eli Whitney invented the cotton gin, a simple mechanized device that efficiently removed the cotton seeds. 1831, Abolitionism and the Underground Railroad. Anti-slavery Northerners helped enslaved people escape from southern plantations to the north via a loose network of safe houses called the Underground Railroad. 1859, John Brown's Raid, October 16. On the night of October 16, 1859, John Brown led a small band of less than 50 men in a raid against the federal arsenal at Harper's Ferry, Virginia, where he was arrested. John Brown, a passionate opponent of slavery, was hanged on December 2, 1859, becoming a martyr of the cause. 1861, Civil War and Emancipation In the spring of 1861, the bitter sectional conflicts that had been intensifying between North and South over the course of four decades erupted into civil war. 1865, the post-slavery South Though the Union victory in the Civil War gave some four million enslaved people their freedom, Significant challenges awaited during the Reconstruction period. 1896, separate but equal. As Reconstruction drew to a close and the forces of white supremacy regained control from carpetbaggers, northerners who moved south, and freed black people, southern state legislatures began enacting the first segregation laws, known as the Jim Crow Laws. 1900, Washington, Carver and Dubois. As the 19th century came to an end and segregation took ever stronger hold in the South, many African Americans saw self-improvement, especially through education, as the single greatest opportunity to escape the indignities they suffered. 1909, NAACP founded. June. In June 1905, a group led by the prominent black educator W.E.B. Du Bois met at Niagara Falls, Canada, sparking a new political protest movement to demand civil rights for black people in the old spirit of abolitionism. 1916, Marcus Garvey and the UNIA Born in Jamaica, the black nationalist leader Marcus Garvey founded his Universal Negro Improvement Association, UNIA, there in 1914. Two years later, he brought it to the United States. 1920, Harlem Renaissance In the 1920s, the Great Migration of Black Americans from the rural South to the urban North sparked an African-American cultural renaissance that took its name from the New York City neighborhood of Harlem. 1941, African Americans in World War II During World War II, many African Americans were ready to fight for what President Franklin D. Roosevelt called the Four Freedoms Freedom of Speech, Freedom of Worship, freedom from want and freedom from fear even while they themselves lack those freedoms at home. 1954, Brown v. Board of Education. May 17. On May 17, 1954, the U.S. Supreme Court delivered its verdict in Brown v. Board of Education, ruling unanimously that racial segregation in public schools violated the 14th Amendment's mandate of equal protection of the laws of the U.S. Constitution. 
1955, Rosa Parks and the Montgomery Bus Boycott, December. On December 1, 1955, Parks refused to give up her seat to a white man when the city bus driver in Montgomery, Alabama, asked her to do that. Parks was arrested for violating the city's racial segregation ordinances. 1957, Central High School Integrated, September 3rd. The desegregation of Central High School in Little Rock, Arkansas, gained national attention on September 3, 1957, when Governor Orville Faubus mobilized the Arkansas National Guard in an effort to prevent nine African-American students from integrating the high school. 1960, Sit-in Movement February 1st. On February 1, 1960, for black students from the Agricultural and Technical College in Greensboro, North Carolina, were refused service due to the counter's whites-only policy. They stayed until the store closed, then returned the next day with other students and was heavily covered by the news media. 1963, Birmingham Church Bond. September. In mid-September, white supremacists bombed the 16th Street Baptist Church in Birmingham, Alabama during Sunday services, for young African-American girls were killed in the explosion. 1963, I Have a Dream, August 28th. On August 28, 1963, some 250,000 people both black and white participated in the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, the largest demonstration in the history of the nation's capital, and the most significant display of the civil rights movement's growing strength. 1965, Malcolm X shot to death, February 21st. On February 21, 1965, during a speaking engagement in Harlem, Three members of the NOI rushed the stage and shot Malcolm some 15 times at close range. 1965, Voting Rights Act, August. Along with the Civil Rights Act of the previous year, the Voting Rights Act was one of the most expansive pieces of civil rights legislation in American history and it greatly reduced the disparity between black and white voters in the U.S. 1968, Martin Luther King Jr. assassinated, April 4. On April 4, 1968, the world was stunned and saddened by the news that the civil rights activist and Nobel Peace Prize winner Martin Luther King Jr. had been shot and killed on the balcony of a motel in Memphis, Tennessee. 1984, Jesse Jackson galvanized black voters. He was a leading voice for black Americans during the early 1980s, urging them to be more politically active and heading up a voter registration drive that led to the election of Harold Washington as the first black mayor of Chicago in 1983. 1992, Los Angeles Riots. In March 1991, officers from the Los Angeles Police Department shot Rodney King with a taser gun and severely beat him after a high-speed chase for speeding. King was on probation for robbery and had been drinking. The beating inspired widespread outrage in the city's African-American community. 2008, Barack Obama becomes 44th U.S. President. On January 20, 2009, Barack Obama was inaugurated as the 44th President of the United States. He is the first African American to hold that office. 2013, the Black Lives Matter movement. July 13. The hashtag tag Black Lives Matter first appeared on Twitter on July 13, 2013 and spread widely as high-profile cases involving the deaths of black civilians provoked renewed outrage. 2020, George Floyd protests, May 25. 
The movement swelled to a critical juncture on May 25, 2020, in the midst of the COVID-19 epidemic when 46-year-old George Floyd died after being handcuffed and pinned to the ground by police officer Derek Chauvin. 2021, Kamala Harris becomes U.S. Vice President. January In January 2021, Kamala Harris became the first woman and first woman of color to become Vice President of the United States, 